Hello everybody, um, it's Milk Knight again. Um, I decided to do a, another tutorial video. This isn't going to be, well, it's going to be emulator related, but it's not um, me going through an emulator and showing you the ins and outs of it. I'm just going to quickly show you how to uh, essentially play patched ROMs with Mario 64. Now the reason I'm doing this video is, I'm sure a good portion of you out there probably already rolling your eyes and sighing and being like, well, I already know this, why, why are you telling us? Well, the thing is, not everyone knows about it, and some people are completely new uh, when it comes to playing, you know, Mario 64 ROM hacks or uh, character, swapped ga uh, character swap hacks and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to quickly show you what I mean. I will leave a link in the description um, showing you uh, a good place where you can... Uh, get the patcher from, as well as a few good places where you can get some good ROM hacks from. Because the SM64 community is a very good one, there's a lot of good stuff that gets made, there's a lot of replay value there usually, even if it's just going through the game as, you know, a totally different character, it's fun in its own way. Or even if you just, like, make, you know, playing through the, uh, through an entirely new game, which is just using the assets that they've uh, that they've used from SM64. So let me just go to my documents and I'll go to my ROMs. And over here I have what is known as a ROM patcher. If I could just quickly get it, here we are. It's in the patcher folder here. I will leave a link in the description where you can get this from. Um, it's called Flips. What you'll want to do is, when you have the patcher um, downloaded and extracted, you just want to click Enter, and you'll have this pop up. And what you'll want to do is, you'll want to apply the patch. Um, every single ROM hack, usually if it's not being made into a Z64 file, it'll be a floating IBS or IPS, I think. And what that is, it's essentially a patch file and what you do is you just click on the uh, apply patch and as you can see here I have Super Luigi 64 Definitive Edition it's fairly recent, it's, it's basically Luigi 64 um, with you know actual Luigi voice clips and uh, they even have like different uh, designs of him uh, that you can play as so for example I'm going to use the Super Mario, um, Super Mario World one and as you can see here, it's floating IPS. So you want to click, and then it will do this. It'll be select file to patch. Now what you'll want to do is when you've got when you've acquired Super Mario 64 um, as a as a ROM essentially, what you'll want to do is you'll want to basically copy it. I have it in a separate folder and just called it copy ROM for patching, and then I just you know put the ROM in there. But you can also just clone the ROM and just make sure you use one of them. And then you just double click it. And what will happen next is there will be an output. Now naturally I already have this uh, already done. But for the sake of the video I will put this in uh, in the uh, in this folder. Sorry my, my, <laughs> my brain's being a bit slow. So I'll just um yeah I'll leave it here in this in this folder here for this example of this video. You just press save and it'll tell you that the patch was applied successfully. You click OK and then you exit. So what you'll want to do is you want to load up Project 64 or whatever emulator you use for N64. I just use Project 64 since it's so useful and pretty good for me. So what you'll want to do is you want to open the ROM. Here's the one that we've just done, the definitive. You double click it. And it should load fine. It's me, Luigi. There we go, it's loading fine. Now, the thing is, Hello. depending on the ROM hack, um, you may need to do a few setting things. Uh, in the meantime, for this one, it's working okay because I've already got the memory size to 8 megabytes. You'll want to you'll want to click it to 8 megabytes. If if the file that you upload or load up is is not running, uh, make sure you go to the settings and enable 8 megabytes. And then 
click OK. Sometimes what'll happen is you'll um, load up the ROM and sometimes it'll crash. And what you'll want to do is you'll just want to click the X button and it'll ha and when you load up Project 64 again, you'll have like a little pop-up window that says terminate PID 34. Just simply click OK and then reload the ROM. And then just as the ROM is loading, go to the settings and change it to 8 megabytes. This is important because you're giving the emulator more mem more memory to work with. So the ROM will actually work then, providing that the ROM's stable and that it's fine. So for the recent uh, example, I'll just quickly load this up and showcase it off. <laughs> In before I crash. I'm joking. So yeah, as you can see, it's working for me here. And I'll quickly show you. And there you go. That's basically Luigi with his uh, Super Mario World design. I mean, this is just a basic ROM hack, really, that I'm sure that I'm showing. Um, you can get much more complicated stuff that just does much more than just change characters. You can get like entire ROMs that are based based around uh, putting games, essentially. I mean, heck, somewhat. I think there's a ROM that has a Super Mario World like OG uh, NES uh, Mario World uh, converted into the N64 engine, which is kind of cool to actually play a game of that caliber uh, <laughs> on the N64 of all things. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do the uh, the ROM patching thing. This this video is really mainly for the new people and that. Um, I will leave a link in the description showing you the patcher and a place where you can get some good ROM hack uh, patches from. Uh, until then, I will catch you in the next video. Ciao for now.